Good day everyone, my name is Kevin Small and welcome to CXCSolutions.com. Today we'll be going through the January 2010 Mathematics Paper 2, that will be the gener General Proficiency Paper. Today we're going to start with question 1C and in this question we are basically given the ingredients needed to make 8 pancakes using 2 cups of pancake mix and 1 and 1 third cups of milk. Now right away I can see that we're going to have to use a technique called unitary method and basically in order to find the ingredients for 12 pancakes we should first find the ingredients needed to make one pancake and then multiply the numbers by 12 that would give us our answer so for part one we have we know that eight pancakes is made from two cups of mix right that part we know now let's find out how much mix is required for one pancake we simply divide both sides by eight therefore one pancake gives us or is, I'm sorry is made by two eighths mix right so now we want to find out 12 pancakes. So 12 pancakes, I just multiply both sides by 12 now. By 12, by 12, and I get 12 pancakes is, is made by 12 times 2 over 8 is 3. cups of mix right so this is our answer for part one now for part two we can use almost the same method just we have different numbers so in part two we have one and one third milk and that is used to make the same eight pancakes as before so first we want to find how much one cup of milk would make and how much pancakes that would produce so you divide both sides by one and one third and you would get one cup of milk is needed to make six pancakes therefore if we multiply this by five now five cups is going to give us six times five is going to give us 30 pancakes and this is basically all there is to question 1c moving on to the next question now in the next question we are asked to solve the inequality x minus 3 is less than 3x minus 7. So let's set up our inequality over here. x minus 3 less than 3x minus 7. So for me, I'm going to carry all of the numbers to one side and keep all the x's on the other side. In this case, I'm going to move the numbers to the left. So I'm going to bring this 7 minus 7 on this side and I'm going to transpose the x to the other side. So what will end up? I would have minus 3. By bringing the 7 over here, it becomes positive 7 is less than 3x by bringing this x over here, it now becomes minus x. So this is my new inequality. And all that I have to do now is simplify both the left and right hand side. Minus 3 plus 7 
is nothing more than 4 and that is less than 3 minus 1 2 x if I want to find for 1 x I simply divide both sides by 2 so 4 divided by 2 is 2 2 divided by 2 is x 1 x and this is my answer for part 1 for part 2 now, it says if x is an integer, determine the smallest value of x that satisfies the inequality above. Now, the first hint would be integer, the second hint would be smallest. So, the, our statement of here says x is greater than 2. So, x is x is greater than 2 so the smallest possible value I can choose that is greater than 2 that is an integer is 3 and this is my answer for part 2 moving on to the last and final question which is question 4b part 2 and this question is a simple ratio question I must admit that at first I thought it was going to be more challenging but you'll come to realize that this question is just a matter of using your ruler in the exam and measuring the line given so the question shows us a map of a playing field and it says it's drawn to scale of every one centimeter on the question paper represents 1250 centimeters in real life so if you take your ruler and measure from S to F you should get approximately 7.8 centimeters on your question paper now you have to transpose this into real world centimeters so to do that you multiply by the scale which is multiply this by 1250 and you should get your answer being 9750 centimeters in the real world now part 2 wants us to convert this centimeters into meters to convert centimeters to meters you simply divide by a hundred so nine seven five zero divided by a hundred is going to give us 97.5 meters simple moving on to part 3 now this is Daniel ran from S to F in 9.72 seconds calculate her average speed in meters per second now average speed even if you never did physics you should remember that speed is equal to distance divided by the time you take so in her case she ran or walked 97.5 meters and it took her 9.7 two seconds so using your calculator this would give you approximately 1.00 meters per second now I have to I have to be careful and make sure you add my two zeros because the question asks for three significant figures this is your first significant figure 
And when you have a decimal point, anything after it is also significant. So one, two, three significant figures.